We're trying to really subclassify diseases into, in, you know, to small effects that are molecularly characterized. I think that's kind of the hot topic really across all oncology. I think, um, so as an example, GI cancer, um, or gastric cancers, I should say. As I'd mentioned earlier, this was long thought to be a single disease, and now it's, we're learning that it's so heterogeneous, both across regions of the world. Um, we're learning that about 10 to 20 percent of patients with metastatic G junction and gastric cancer have HER2 overexpression. We, you know, borrowed from our breast oncology colleagues and know that we can now use HER2 targeted agents such as trastuzumab. Um, there are many studies now starting to look at other HER2 directed agents like trastuzumab exemestine, which is TDM1, lapatinib, other agents. So that small subgroup of about 20% of patients now have different agents available to them. Um, I, I, we just spoke about angiogenesis inhibitors in that particular group of patients. We don't yet have great predictors of who responds to those particular agents, but that's being evaluated. Looking at CMET as another molecular marker target and CMET inhibitors, um, EGFR, um, FGFR. So I think that really the direction that a lot of oncology is headed, but GI cancer is among them, is think trying to find molecular targets that both predict response to treatment, but that also helped um, help us prognosticate as well.